Hi, folks. Have you ever heard the term false start? <laughs> well, this is the false start of my video. <laughs> I just noticed this. Uh, I've been watching this for a little bit, but today it's come on out and, and bloomed out real well, or rather, rather uh, spread out some really good leaves over the last couple of days. Looks like I've got a little basil coming up there in my instant gardening bag there. It's from a few episodes back. That seed <clears throat> went ahead and sprouted, and then there's a few other seeds from the other herbs that I planted on the backside that are coming up uh, due to, the, to me letting it dry out and uh, maybe a little bit of flooding. Uh, not all of it's going to come up, but some of it will. Um, you can get started instantly with plants plugged right into um, a, a bag of potting soil if you wanted to start growing immediately. Or, if you manage it uh, in the right way, you can direct sow your seeds into it. So, that's what that is. But that, that just, you know, kind of tickled me right there to see that. See it coming up? I wanted to share that with you. Here is what I wanted to show you. Now, let me get it in here. Get it back in the frame. Um credit to wiki for this information wonderful resource there this is the eastern tiger swallowtail butterfly that's the male version of it and look how beautiful it is uh, i know it, it's hard to show it's not like uh images embedded in my video or anything so we'll have to get, work with this that's the female that is just incredible um it's a beautiful butterfly it's a very common pollinator here in my part of the world, in the uh, southeastern United States, and I'm going to show you the caterpillar. All right, so now we've had the false start. <laughs> Let's get ready for the beginning, the real beginning. It's the prequel right now. Welcome back to Homestead Aquarius, and the next installment in my Nature's Garden series. What you're seeing here is a devil's walking stick. I'm not going to talk to you about that. The reason I mention anything at all... <laughs> is this is uh, these little thorns here that it's so famous for is um, acting as a little barrier, uh, a protective gardening to a treasure that I want to show you. One I discovered earlier, a wonderful, beautiful little caterpillar. Look at that. What you're seeing here is the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly, the caterpillar stage. Uh, this is a major pollinator here in uh, the eastern half of the United States. It's common all the way from Florida all the way up to the Canadian border. Um, let me try to keep it in the sun for you. To me, that just looks like a carved piece of emerald, right? Look at that. Almost looks like a beautiful, beautiful jewelry is what it looks like. And it looks like it's making its cocoon. And will soon be um, metamorphosing, metamorphos, metamor, how to, metamorphosizing. <laughs> uh, it's gonna, it's gonna go into a cocoon stage. <laughs> yes, um, and become a wonderful, a wonderful pollinator here. This makes an incredibly beautiful butterfly. I'll show you in just a minute. I don't have my tablet with me right now, the so-called view master. But I wanted to give you a good look at this. Look at the web that it's spinning there. Yep. Now, where there's one, there are more. And now I haven't seen any more, but I know that they're here. Um, what it's uh, resting on right now is a tulip poplar. That is a very common tree in my part of the world. And it is also one of its favored food sources. So I, I'm going to bet that there's a bunch more here. I have quite a few of these trees and some of its other food sources. That is because I leave so much of my property in a wild state and help nature bring these things in here. Um, and I would encourage everyone to do that if they can. If you have a property, leave some of it to go wild so that nature can bring in different species, um, the birds and the bees and the wind carries so much to us. Um, you know, things that are supposed to be there, you know? Now, things like Bradford pears um, or kudzu or many other 
invasive species uh, that are all over the world. Now, we don't want to show them the same respect because they're taking over the natural homes of endemic species, or rather uh, native species, okay? Um, this will grow up to be a wonderful pollinator for anything that I'm growing here. Um, like I said they're common to uh, the eastern half of the United States from Florida all the way up to the Canadian border. And I just can't wait till this undergoes its change and becomes that beautiful butterfly. I'm going to show you a couple of other things here that are in my natural garden. Two plants that I'd like to get a little help from another channel. Uh, and the channel name is Wild Edibles. Uh, she has incredible knowledge of the wild things. Uh, one of two channels that I really pay close attention to. Hello, Wild Edibles. This is Homestead Aquarius, and I'm showing you my weeds. I think what I have found here is Solomon's Seal that you showed uh, earlier on a video. And I just want to make sure um, your video was pretty clear or very clear uh, about how to identify it. But I wonder if you could tell me if it's a subspecies, what if there's a specific kind that this is or um, in, any other details about it. Um, I know or I've seen some things showing that it's an edible and a medicinal and a powerful plant to have uh, on my property. And I hope that's the case. Um, there are a few of them here. And let's see, there's one, one there and then one up there. Um, anything you can tell me about this uh, would be appreciated. But just another look there. I'm 100% I'm sure that that's what it is. It, it's really just a question of is there a certain subspecies that this may be. Um, I saw something about a smooth Solomon seal. That tells me that there must be a rough one. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for looking at my weeds. The other plant that I was wondering about, I had two. Um, there are a few more, but I'll bust those up into different videos. Um, this is in a place uh, in my driveway here where it gets a lot of uh, moisture. It stays wet here a lot, but it also gets full sun. North Alabama, uh, but it could have been transported in uh, from Mobile, from the coast of Alabama. Let me get this where it's the only green thing here. Uh, let's take it over here. I didn't mean to uproot it, but I wound up doing that. The stem is very hard, uh, very tough. That's why uh, it uprooted so easily. I just tried to break it off. Um, let me see if I can get my hands to be still here. Um, to me, in my non-expert opinion, you know, this, I'm 50-50 on it, and I can't do that. Is this, is this wild yarrow, or is this poison hemlock? <clears throat> it could be, it could be a young poison hemlock. Uh, the more I look at it, the more I, I worry that's what it is. Or some species of something else that just looks like it. Um, but I would appreciate it if, if you could identify that for me. If if um, if this is too far south uh, for it to be in your expertise, that's fine. I understand, but I uh, just wanted to throw that to you. I'm showing you my weeds. 